Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros, and today we're going to be building a 40, 90, and 7950X gaming PC, courtesy of Corsair. This build right here is absolutely jam-packed with Corsair components, and uh, yeah, we have the RTX 4090 we're able to pick up. We got the Zotac version right here, and we're very excited to build what most likely is the most expensive PC we built on the channel so far, and hopefully we won't break it. But before we dive into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by our friends at Micro Center, our favorite place to buy PC hardware in person. We have used Micro Center so many times for all the fun projects we do here on the channel, like our budget racing simulator setup that we went out of our way to drive two hours to get because it was such a great deal at Micro Center in store only. And right now they are running their Black Friday sale, which you can cash in on a $15 off your next in store purchase for new customers only, going on from November 7th to November 27th. Whether you're building a brand new gaming PC or looking to get a sick new 3D printer, you should definitely cash in on this deal at your local micro center today with their inventory of over 30,000 products and super knowledgeable staff. Definitely check the links down below to learn more and see what all products are on sale in store only and big thanks again to micro center for sponsoring today's video. Now just a quick note, we're going to be running a Black Friday sale at PC Bros, so maybe you want a 4090 build, maybe you want a Dell Optiplex, we kind of have it all. So today, if you're watching this video, you can save 10% on any purchase over at PCBros.tech, so maybe this PC will be here, or maybe another PC will be over there, go to PCBros.tech, only thing that is excluded are custom build requests, so keep that in mind. Now let's go ahead and talk about each individual part, how it makes up this awesome PC build. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we decided for the best graphics card that NVIDIA has out right now, we had to pair it with the best CPU the AMD currently offers. This is the 7950X, which is a Ryzen 9 16 core 32 thread. The crazy part, the base frequency, 4.5 gigahertz. That's that's the boost for most, and it boosts up to 5.7. That's without overclocking, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of terrified of this thing. 170 watts though, which really isn't bad. Definitely not pushing those 3900K wattages. So we have this super chilled Corsair H150i Elite. Now this cooler is pretty awesome. We, we typically go with like the H150i Elite Capellix because then it comes with these SP120 fans and it's not much more, just something to keep in mind. But I have noticed this one has a little bit of a different block to it. This seems like it's a little bit bigger. I could be totally wrong. Maybe it's the exact same size, but yeah, plenty of cooling power for that. Now for the motherboard, this is this is a heavy board. This is the ASRock X670E Tai Chi Carrera or Carrara. And yeah, I mean, obviously it's ready for AM5. It's ready for DDR5. Wow, yeah, it has its own that. display box, which I've actually never seen, but we're starting to see with the new generation of motherboards, they're doing some really fancy stuff. And I'm looking at this and that's like metal up top that basically has like a you know, fake marble slash granite look to it. It looks sick and I'm really excited to see it inside of this case. Now for the RAM, we have this Corsair Vengeance RGB DDR5. Now this is gonna be two sticks. It's two by 16, so 32 total, 6,000 megahertz, which is pretty fast. And it says that it's, you know, memory for AMD. So I guess it's optimized for it pretty well. We used to say that a lot in the past with Intel, especially like almost every RAM company would be like optimized for Intel, but you could use it in either, of course. Now for the storage, you know why I go cheap on that when we've already spent a lot of money. We got the WD two terabyte SN 770 Black. This is a Gen 4 SSD. It has some pretty good read and write speeds and it's two terabytes and it's about the size of a thumb drive, which is pretty sick. Now for the star of the show, we have the Zotac Gaming Trinity RTX 4090, which if you guys haven't seen our TikTok, we've dropped this thing already. So go to our TikTok, by the way, if you really want to see that, but. Actually yeah, all jokes aside, this is the 4090, the card that a lot of people are really happy about, but also very scared of because of fire hazards, which we have taken care of today, thanks to Corsair. We do have this special cable right here that is not the adapter, it's the direct cable to the power supply, which a lot of people are looking for right now, so big shout out to Corsair for sending this over. So our fire concerns are a little bit alleviated there. But yeah, this is a big chunky card that's gonna look absolutely great, and we're gonna be able to play 4K, high refresh rate, whenever we dive into any game we want to with this card. Absolutely awesome. And absolutely Absolutely excited to test it in some games. Will it play Fortnite? No. Now for the power supply, we have the Corsair RM1000X from the RMX series. This is an 80 plus gold power supply that works well with that special connector we got. And a thousand watts should be the entry level like wattage that you should go with a 4090 to be safe. These things pull a lot of power and especially with the 7950X, once it's boosted up, it will pull a good amount of wattage. So this is a very good option to go with. A thousand watts or greater is what you should look for. And we are gonna be making it look nice and cool with these sleeve cables. I believe I went white, but I might have gotten white and black. I went white and black because we're trying to match that marble theme. So we got the white and black here. I think it'll look pretty nice with this motherboard. And we did, I think with the RAM, it is, I'm gonna check something real quick. I asked for a white version of this RAM. And I don't know if we got it. 
it's silver, that's that's something. And we are gonna be decking it out with a lot of RGB. We have these SP120 RGB Elite fans. We have nine of them right here. Well, 10 of them, so we'll put three here, three there, we'll figure it out. I don't even know where all the fans are gonna go yet, but we'll get that going there. And speaking of the case, 5000D Airflow. This is a massive case because you know what? You need a lot of room for that RTX 4090. And yeah, of course it makes some awesome high-end cases and it's gonna look great with their RGB fans. I'm just excited to put this build together. I don't think it's gonna be too difficult and it's actually gonna turn out really nice. Let's do it. Alright guys, we are playing Apex Legends at 4K and we are absolutely maxed out. We actually took off the frame cap, but if you ever see 300, that is literally the frame cap that you cannot bypass. There's a cool command though if any of you guys want to unlock your frame rate. I think your FOV is at default, so it feels it, a little it does, low. It does feel a little low. We'll, we'll switch that in a second here. Look at the latency. Three, four milliseconds. This is as smooth yes. as a gaming experience can get, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh God. It doesn't make you a better gamer though. Oh. Oh, God. Blood Hunter! Oh, hello. Oh, my lord. Teammates aren't really uh, helping a whole lot. You guys get the idea. I mean, 300 FPS with some of the lowest latency we've ever seen. I mean, couldn't really ask for much more than this. Next game. All right, guys, we're in Warzone. Yeah, Warzone 2.0. Um, we are on the recommended preset, NVIDIA DLSS, and high settings across the board. Yeah, we're at 4K, 180 FPS so far. We are just in the warm up, and I need to turn that motion blur off. All right, let's see if I can kill somebody in Warzone. <laughs> Look at me. Look at Steve Carell, ready to yep. go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm ready to go, brother. Oh, it's open mic? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That is not good. I think you have a chance to turn around. I just hope no one walks up behind you right now. Ah! You no, know, I kind of called it. It's, it's you almost, did, you did it's call it. It's almost like I felt someone. Oh. <laughs> Missile! Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait. It didn't even show where it came from. Well, at least I can see what the gulag looks like. We got a rock fight in cell block B. Team? 2v2? And just shoot my teammate. Oh! Teammate, carry me! We're learning new things here. Interesting changes to Warzone. With the 4090, no problems. You still won't win in the Gulag, though. What we're gonna go ahead and do is run some built-in benchmarks to really stress this 4090, but I have a hard time thinking we're gonna really get this thing to struggle. Let's do it.
All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking this amazing 7950X and RTX 4090 gaming PC. And yeah, 4K, we're hitting FPS caps. I mean, this thing's pretty insane. And the price point really isn't quite as bad as you would think it would be. You're not quite looking at new car prices, but hey, you might not be too far off. And of course, we did change the cooler out. You may have noticed that because we were having some issues with some of the fans syncing up. So we just went with the Elite Capellix, which is basically the same exact cooler, but a little bit redesigned. And it comes with a really nice hub that we can connect pretty much all the fans too. So yeah, we love doing Corsair builds. Got a ton of RGB, super easy to put together, and we absolutely love the performance of the 4090. Yes, it is absolutely expensive, and 99% of you don't need it, but it's really crazy to see at 4K, we're pushing 100 plus FPS, even 200 plus FPS in some titles. And uh, yeah, if you're looking to build a PC using the 4090, definitely check those links down below. They will be affiliate links and they will help us out. Let us know if you were crazy or bold enough to build a 4090 PC, and let us know what you think of this one. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Now, as we said at the beginning of this video, guys, use code BF10 for Black Friday 10% to get 10% off at anything over at PCBros.tech besides a custom build. Wow, I got excited. I just wanted to say PC Bros. I just cut this man off. PCBros.tech, we sell gaming PCs, we sell gaming laptops, we have some 4090 builds, and we have some 4080 builds coming to the website. So use code BF10 to save 10%, and any other day you can save 2% with code ToastyBros2 on checkout. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.